can take care of the conflicts in the community. There's a council that you sit and we discuss that, we resolve, and then there are no squabbles in the community. And Ubani wins in Betila Masim, you know, and then you are creating an economy that takes care of leadership. Is that okay? So, Gwazin Gomozinga, A1 was a supper, but any Yalabu Kosini. So that we are, so the community takes care of the, the leader, and the leader takes care of the, the community because they resolve the issues of our community. What we are seeing now is that we have leaders, but our issues are not resolved. And I'm not even saying one leader must come in and the other must go out. I'm the system of having leaders, but our, res our, our conflicts, our issues and, and, and challenges are not resolved according like. And that is what I'm saying we should have. So to come to UNOX, uh, on this question of everyone being a leader. I'm not, again, asking people to change. And it could be Eugene for as long as she can. We could have the same president, Sir Ramaphosa, for as long as he can. I don't have a problem with that. If our, our problems are solved, we have leaders who has come. This leader comes and the other, but they get, they earn. But in our own cultural way, if the, the chief doesn't resolve people's problem, uh, he can't actually charge someone to bring, you know, cattle for their punishment. Therefore, he won't have any wealth. Leaders have um, benefits and they get paid, but people don't get serviced. And that, therefore, it's a question, it's a system we need to look at. And even if it's, 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 it's a monkey that is sitting there, <laughs> let the system work, and we have to talk about it. So I've answered, I, I know very well that we, most people come with good intentions, try to serve, and then the, systems, the system just swallows you. I really understand that. You know, and, and we give in, um, and you understand that you can't change everyone. We have needs. But that is because you are doing it on your own. But when we form communities, when we form communities, when we find each other, and, and start saying, Usia, Usia Zonan, I'd also go to see and like, Sia, Lamaka Ako Makulu, Gafoying like his end or not. <laughs> let's let's we are taking our 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 show our problem to his shoulders as somebody who has been leading us in the business sector with national youth NYTA national youth development agents. I'll tell him good these are the problems that we are facing. You know we have the money the money is coming in now we don't know how to manage this money. This money is destroying us now. We have the brands, we have the everything that we try to do. This fame, this fame is killing us. You didn't tell us about this fame. But you are telling that you are developing leaders in business. How do we deal with the question of, of you having so much power, money, and have little things that you can say no to? Very few things you can say no to. And 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 who takes care of that? Because all of this is part of developing this kind of a, a, a cadre, a, a leader that is able to take a community from one place to another, all intact. Not that you got there on your own, but you got us there. Sisoing, Sibangabi, or Sibai 100. Kula A1, where's the one? Why are you she in 99? No, I'm looking for the one. Because we have to get there together, intact. And, and this is us. This is our conversation that we need to have. There is no one who can lead this municipality with their own clique. You can't. You can't even if you won a conference. Bongani, Gokeliam, 
I have so much respect for you, Noxi, um, and any other political representation that might be here. Abu Nicholas Nyati in the absence, and um, you know everyone that normally that also bought the book. So many the book was bought across the spectrum of our political uh, representation here. No, none of those people can lead the city alone. If you are a coalition amongst yourself, you are just a clique. You are not a coalition. You are a clique of people. You can't decide. If you are a coalition, you're going to go and mobilize and buy and mobilize society and buy public sympathy on issues. Let us understand why. From time to time, you speak to us because we celebrate your, your, your emergence. And, and there's no coalition that doesn't have that proper representation in the city. It is short-lived. That is why we're not getting one group finishing five terms. Five years a term. So maybe that's a question now, because this is our reality in the city, a reality of coalition. What does it mean? None of us has absolute power. We have to pursue each other's interest. What? I just want those potholes. There are people that are worried more about potholes than they are worried about streetlights and all of those people. And sometimes just to pursue ourselves collectively. So a coalition, I know people because they are elected into position and representation, represent a party and they form a coalition in that sense. They think they are the coalition. No, it's the representation of that coalition. But the coalition must be pursued with the community. And it has not happened. I'll make an example. AIM, after electing Kuseli Jack, AIM, AIM just didn't exist. You know, I don't see it. I'm not, I'm not trying to speak. It's an example that is closer. It didn't have any programs, and maybe there are other, other, other ones. And therefore, the next time you're going to see it, you're going to see when there's another form of mobilization. And this is a critical thing that I think they could have used to maintain their presence or to give proper information to the people. And I can go on with all the list because they are not pursuing community coalition. They are pursuing that clique coalition, which is always short-lived. But I think I get the sense, honestly, of, um, of where we are and what we, we, we need to be doing. And none of us have all the answers, but let's continue having this conversation and come to each other's support, Knox. You know, uh, there's a whole community here of people Okay, so just to save time, Olam says, um, let's just uh, wrap it. Um, because just to save time, obviously, we can all get home um, in time. There's just a small last part I'd like to read of a speech Olam made in 2010. Yeah. And he says, this is, I would, I'd like to close with this because he says that this is his vision for his life. So it's titled... Olam Quincy. Uh, sorry. Oh. He really wants to I ask want you a question. To make an input here. Okay, let's give him a, let's give him a chance. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. Uh, traditionally, if or culturally, it in the by leadership. How do you see? And then I think we see was saying something and mentioned in the end of And I got to think about the leadership. Kalapa, ebutoti, kokuwa kwest, 
What you used to find back then was that Kaku Kangelwa is cool, is born. Kaku Kangelwa Utata Otile with certain Mandibegang is closer. Ukwi Zimbo is Tile. Onga fani yo na banye otata elali. Kutwe kakucho ongwa kutiwe angangu sponda. Ngo ba yena aka ambi ngo kuba in terms of popularity uyi wangapa o kutiwani. Now I believe a leader is someone who stands with values zayo. Going back again, Quindaba, yes, cause. Indo Taifundi Swandun, Indo Ta Indo Tangazens. Once is Zenzo Zako, Zikombe, Olo Shobo, Yelendonje, back in the days, you will find that a father of that house got recognized by him providing for the family. Now, with that, he becomes a hero or a leader for Abandwana Bagi. I believe is tossing a leadership. That's how it became from child to being a father to be a sponder. And the other sponder in learning English. So in these days, things have changed because. You found back then um, our mothers were housewives, and it was the father that went into mines and worked and brought bread at home and made sure that his kids do not go out of line. With that, that's how you built back then because of. The reason I'm saying back then, it's because things have become so modern in these days that um, Otibana with a woman that you want to marry, but now she earns more than you. She has a house, she has a car. Then what are you bringing to the table? What makes you a man? Because she easily says, I can do exactly what you can do. So does that make me a man or a leader? Manikek. <coughs> no, Ndabulela, thank you very much for that question. I think I've picked two things. Firstly, I, I don't know if you know Tabao. There's a, a, there's a masculine presence with Tabao. It's close in. You know that we don't have a song. I don't know if we do that sings towards Umdongtata. We sing Tatubawo, Sikela Manza. You know, that's a Mazuka. You can't start some cultural um, you know rituals if you know the paternal aunt is not in, in that. I grew up in a place where Omalumebetu they they sort of anything our our leader Ngondoza Nen. You know, all men just come and ask for what needs to be done in the household. So for me, culturally, I don't have a, pers a perspective that a leader is a man uh, and not a woman. I've actually experienced more of the, 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 the feminine leadership in the household and culturally, both paternal and, and uh, from my father's side and my mother's side. And then 
So that's the first thing. And then secondly is that it, it might be prudent to distance ourselves from deriving our masculinity um, from the migrant labor system. So, so at the time, it's dated when there was a mine that had to be dug by men. There's a date. And that was due to particular acts that were enforced by the apartheid system, by the apartheid government, which had taken people's land and forced people to pay taxes so that they don't work their land and have their own cattle, had their own cattle and, 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 and attend to their own land. Now they had to pay taxes and therefore they were pushed and forced to go and work so that they can pay certain taxes. And we're all, so there's a historical relationship, there's a historical uh, narrative to men having to go and, and, and look for money. So, so, so that's the second, second thing. It's important now, this day and age, that we are not challenged by women who need, who are pursuing their, their life's dreams. Whether it's a woman, it's a man, it doesn't matter. Um, we need to be able to empower and support where possible. But if ours is to base our masculinity on, on money and not on vision,